Hello, today's episode of the Bitcoin Show is brought to you by bit-pay.com and mountgox.com, mtgox.com and tradehill.com and usgoldcoins.com and mezegrill, m-e-z-e grill.com. Hello, everybody, and welcome to The Bitcoin Show, episode number 32. Uh, today is, what is it, July 28th? Oh, my gosh, it's almost yeah. August. I'm Bruce Wagner. This is Manny Mena. And we are here to talk about some really cool new stuff, as always. We always are. Um, today, we're, we've got the munchies. Um, I guess this, we should have actually done this on April 20th, but it's gotten <laughs> delayed a little bit. And uh, we, everybody has the munchies, I know I do, especially computer geeks. I mean, we're notorious for the, the Twinkie defense. Uh, Twinkies and Diet Coke, it w really would be all I would need to live on. But that and Bitcoin, of course. So yeah. today <laughs> with us, uh, we have a, a very special guest, Ira Miller, who is uh, the founder of bitmunchies.com and a new launching enterprise he's going to share with us today as an exclusive announcement, of course. So, hey, Ira, how are you doing? Good. How are you, Bruce? Great, great. Where are you? Where are you? I mean, besides the TV here. I, I'm in Denver, <laughs> Colorado. Oh, I've heard of that. Yep, that's where the mountains are and the beautiful plains and mountains oh, yeah. and skiing. We, go to, we, we fly into Denver to go drive all the way over to Aspen <laughs> because I'm with Dr. Frugal, of course. That's how you do it. That's how you get to Aspen if you're with Dr. Frugal <laughs> via right. Denver. But we love it out there. So tell us about BitMunchies. Bit how, how long have you had the munchies going on here? Uh, I've had the munchies going on for, oh, let's see, maybe uh, three, three months, four months. Uh, wow. Which in, in the Bitcoin world is, I guess, a, a while. I was going to say, that's three or four years in Bitcoin time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Th things move quickly around here. That's not uh, even a new enterprise anymore. No. You know, and, and we've... Uh, had a lot of bumps along the road, uh, which you know, hopefully I'll tell you a little bit more about, a little bit more about later. Uh, mm -hmm. But just a quick introduction, you know, we sell you know, everything, soup, oatmeal, Indian food, socks, toothpaste. Uh, if it's April 20th, you, know, you get your roller pa rolling papers from us. Oh uh, my gosh, nice. <laughs> you can do that too. That'll give you the munchies, oh my that, gosh. That's right, yeah. Rolling your own cigarettes for, and then you'll be eating jars of Nutella or something, um, <laughs> good, right yeah. from the jar with a big old spoon. So uh, show the page, Ed. Uh, this is uh, I got it on the screen right now. It's bitmunchies.com, just like it sounds. And um, there's a big bite out of a Bitcoin right there. And you know, one of the one of the things we we were t who was it that was talking about? Oh yeah, that guy from Wired magazine from the. Um, I think it was the, was it the CNN piece, I think? No, it was the Al Jazeera English piece that they did, and they had some guy from Wired Magazine who totally didn't get it, and he's like, you can't buy milk and, and uh, you know, groceries for, with a Bitcoin. It's just a wacky, crazy currency. That's going to be his <laughs> yeah. tagline, that wacky, crazy guy. Well, we are proving it. you've been proving him wrong since way before that, right? Yep. So what all can you didn't buy? research. He didn't do his research. That's uh, lazy journalism, right? That's what I. <laughs> that's my tagline. It's a simple Google search. I mean, I, you know, I know. They really need to learn how to use Google. Google knows everything. Well, God knows everything, but he uses Google. So, or MSN, whatever, Bing, whatever. But um, let's see. So, what all can you? It looks like. I mean, you can. You actually sell clothing. Dude, they they have contraceptives too. Uh, oh yeah. my gosh. Uh, flavored, uh, among others. Oh my God! I, I guess you know I didn't even see this before. Yeah, but it looks I'm on like it right now. And I'm like amazed. It's like, where are my bitcoins right now? I totally <laughs> hit the the nail on the head, didn't I? You got a category called pipe and smoke. Good grief! Okay, <laughs> and <laughs> medicine cabinet. Okay, so this is uh, this is actually Silk Road 2.0. You got Crest and uh, Glide and Dove and Irish Spring. I wonder if I wonder if Procter and Gamble knows that their products are for sale for Bitcoin. 
I don't know. <laughs> so how do you do this? How many items would you say that you have right now? How many different items? Uh, probably a couple hundred. Uh, we just uh, put out a big shipment for a lot more, so hopefully mm -hmm. it should be expanding very quickly in the next month. So, do uh, you, oh, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, you, you mentioned uh, clothes, pipe, and smoke. Uh, those are the two of the areas that we're really trying to expand. Clothing and pipe, yeah. What is in clothing? Let me see. I haven't seen. Oh, There's my gosh. Socks and stuff. Eco socks. Um, eco socks, yeah. Eco socks. So oh, that's, my that's gosh. Competition with I wear those Alpaca myself. Socks. They're comfortable. Oh, yeah. So now you're in, <laughs> man, he says, you're, in, you're in competition directly with the alpaca socks, guys. Uh oh, <laughs> well, it depends. I mean, there's you don't have alpaca. You've got That's cotton true. or alpaca. You know, take your for special occasions. You wear a alpaca. Orville Redenbacher, you know, Welch's squeeze grape jelly. We don't need. Um, what do they call that? Uh, in New York, it's called Fresh Direct, and everywhere else, it's called uh, Fresh Direct. Peapod. Peapod. Basically, because you could you could get all your groceries this way, except for produce and. Uh, <laughs> Dairy, I'm sure you're not going to ship that. Do you actually inventory this stuff and, and stock it yourself? Uh, I do, yeah. And we're working on, uh, you know, a lot more produce, milk, you mentioned, uh, things like that, at least for, for Denver, uh, until I can open up a location in New York, you fellas are going to have to make do. Well, yeah, maybe we can clear out the file server room, we can make it like a stock room here. Full of yeah. Oh, and this is, you know, I mentioned it, but I didn't realize this is the best sellers category. Number one is Nutella. <laughs> yeah. So it must be being in Australia. <laughs> and num <Yeah. laughs> right, number, do you actually, sh are you shipping to, outside of the U.S. to Australia? Uh, I haven't gotten any orders from Australia. I get a lot from Europe, uh, you oh. know, Germany, Scandinavia, uh, a lot northern western Europe, yeah. Wow. Nice. I, I'm surprised because Nutella is like from Australia. Isn't that an Australian thing? I thought maybe oh, not. Canadian. Oh, Canadian. Oh, well, it's global. Uh, just like Bitcoin, it's all global, right? So freeze-dried yeah. fruit chips, uh, Jif creamy peanut butter, Act Two butter lovers popcorn. That's my favorite. Progresso chicken noodle shells and real aged cheddar. This is all health food. These are like all my favorite things. Munchies <laughs> is right. And chocolate chip peanut butter crunch energy bar. Oh, wow, I need one right now. Wow. H and S noodle soup. That's that for what is that little uh, the stuff that we eat that's fifty cents? Um, Kraft macaroni Roman and cheese, Roman, Ray, yeah, Raymond noodles. That's for the students. <laughs> yeah, now they can buy that in Bitcoin. Kraft macaroni and cheese. Oh my, yeah, just mine for minutes. Raymond noodles. That's the poor students. The the more we go over this, the more dangerously hungry I get. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm in a blood sugar attack right now. So this, so it's amazing. So you you actually decided to set this up. And you started inventorying this stuff yourself. Like you warehouse it in your. I hope you have a walk-in closet in Denver. You got bigger space out there. Uh, a basement full of this stuff. A basement. That is so cool. That's oh my pretty gosh. awesome. So you get the full markup. I know there are a lot of um, retailers that are popping up online, of course, in the uh, Bitcoin space, and. Um, most all of them are just wrapping some other service. They're, they're, I don't know how they're doing drop it. Dropshipping. Dropshipping. And yeah. yeah, they're like, somehow there's a, I'm sure there's an inside wholesale distribution That's network. That's how most sites work. Yeah. That are, it's already there. So they're just taking existing products. But, um, but now, are, do you have a return policy? <laughs> like if I try the Nutella and I eat like two thirds of it and I'm just like, you know what? I, I want another one. So can I return this? Uh, you know, I never had anyone ask to return anything. Uh, you know, I, I accidentally uh, sent someone the wrong thing uh, once or twice and just issued them a refund. But uh, oh, okay, well, I guess you, I mean I guess you don't have much that you could return. I mean, the food, of course, not. And I guess even the socks, you probably wouldn't want to take returns on. No, but, uh, no. <laughs> especially used socks. Yeah, yeah. You have to you have to pay more if they depends on who wore them. But um, beverages, you've got all kinds of stuff. So how do you manage this? Do you manage this all on your own? Uh, no, and I'm actually uh, looking to hire someone just to handle all the shipping in, in the next month or so uh, because it's, it's quite a lot of, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. uh, it's turning into now. Yeah, I can see that. Five-hour energy drink for one point, let's see, what is this? 0 0.16 Bitcoin. Now, are these prices that are priced in Bitcoin are they yeah. updated like every like in real time? 
Well, actually, uh, that was the other thing I want to talk to you about today. Uh, mm -hmm. You mentioned all the other um, retailers and, and services that are popping up in the Bitcoin economy, uh, and we had a lot of trouble with uh, basically completing the revenue stream mm -hmm. when we opened BitMunchies. You know, how do you uh, accept and confirm payments? How do you set and update exchange rates? Uh, converting Bitcoins is uh, quite a hassle in, in some ways. You know. You, got Trade Hill and, and Mt. Gox as your, your sponsors, and they're, they're great. We use them, but for your average store owner, it's a lot to handle, mm -hmm. particularly when withdrawals have to go through you know, a third party. Uh, mm -hmm. So in, in solving all these issues for BitMunchies, I actually have been building tools for other uh, merchants in, uh, using Bitcoin to use, mm -hmm. uh, which brings us to BT Stitch, yeah. uh, which is... Okay. And to end merchant services for, for Bitcoin uh, stores, including you know, uh, in-person payments, uh, instant conversions, so you don't expose yourself to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're in business to, to do sales, to, to uh, sell things directly to customers, not to speculate, not to trade. Mm -hmm. uh, we can handle all those things for you. So let me, get, let me understand. Um, okay, so BT Cinch. It's B-T-C-I-N-C-H dot com. And yep. what exactly does BT Cinch do then? So BT Cinch uh, is end-to-end -end merchant services, as oh. I said. Uh, mm -hmm. We uh, function a lot. Uh, you're familiar with PayPal. Uh, right. you, know, we, you go to a store site. Uh, you know, it'll say, check out with BT Cinch. Take you to our payment page so that stores don't have to worry about setting their own exchange rates, uh, updating them dynamically or you know, how to price things, how to confirm payments, any of those things. Uh, mm -hmm. We handle that all for them. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. So this is a completely separate thing from uh, BitMunchies, but... Yeah. Um, all right, so I, you, I know that you sent me an invitation, or you actually sent me money. And, I did uh, send you money. And I didn't get around to doing it, but I thought, well, that's perfect, because we'll just do it right here on the show. Can we do that live? Like, if, you, yeah, if I just click yeah, it? Yeah, go okay. for it. So uh, let's see, show my, this is the email that, uh, that Ira sent me. Look, it's signed, Ira Miller, right there. There's his signature. And uh, it says, someone sent you money on BT Cinch, um, uh, 0.05. That's it? Like, that's hardly worth my time. Okay, 67 <laughs> cents. Like, why didn't you send me 100? Okay, so I click, to claim them, click the link below. All right, so I'm clicking the link, and there it is. Ah, now, enter your username and password. So at this point, do I have to? Do I already have a user, username and password, or do I have to create one? Uh, you create a username, password, and a PIN number. Okay. Enter your new username and password. Oh, so this is creating the new account, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So I'm going to use the same login. Uh, it's hold on. Let me make it bigger so you can see. Uh, Probably shouldn't tell everybody. Yeah, my my login. I'll tell everybody. It's it's Bruce Wagner, and then my password is Bruce Wagner. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's Bruce Wagner 1, right? Bruce Wagner 1, exactly. <laughs> Bruce Wagner password. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. doesn't matter. Uh, Four-digit pin. Okay, one, two, three, four. I'll just use the example there. No. <laughs> I like things easy. Just kidding. You know I'm kidding. You use a strong password. This is money, not email. Your username and password have been set login. Cool. Okay. Why does it ask me my username and password when I just told it my username and password anyway? All right. Um, I know, I know. I'm kidding. That's actually uh, on the agenda for this week to fix, so. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, it's like, okay, or log in using OpenAuth. Okay. Yeah, please remember me. Don't ever ask me that again. Okay. So, logging in, waiting, boom, done. No, don't. So if you go no, to your, never if you go to your dashboard it. now, you can see the, the funds I sent you. Oh, dashboard. You see that? Is that big enough? Can you see that? Make it bigger. How about there? Can you see it now? Bigger yet? Okay. Now yeah, you should do it. That's better, yeah. Now okay, I can cool. read it. Okay, cool. All right, so. Um, I'm watching you live. Watching live. Okay, cool. So welcome to BT Singe. This is your dashboard. You can view information about your account, recent transactions, and strange rate. Um, TMW, too many words. There it is. Exchange rate. Bitcoin exchange rates, 1309. Your rate is 1270. What does that mean? My rate's different? Retail. Well, yeah. 
Okay. So as, as I mentioned, this is uh, primarily merchant services. So you've been right. set up with, uh, if you will, an individual account. Mm -hmm. uh, so you might use this, for instance, uh, you know, put a Bitcoin on it, go out uh, about your day, and at lunch you might go to Mez Grill mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, on your phone or, you know, if you want to bring your laptop with you, mm -hmm. pay for your lunch for this account and it'll clear instantly. Okay. So this shows that um, recent transactions was a, a send of uh, five bit cents confirmed and account status basic. Uh, so I have a five cent, five bit cent balance, zero dollars. So I can have dollars and Bitcoin fund distribution. Yep. What does that fund, mean? 90% yeah. percent Bitcoin, 10% US dollars. That's like if you had uh, balances in both, it would show you what percent you had in each. Actually, what that is, uh, so for instance, if uh, at BitMunchies, we, we've been using all these tools for about six weeks uh, mm -hmm. to test them out. Mm -hmm. uh, so when someone sends us money or when you know, a customer checks out, it chooses, in, in our case, it's actually a 60-40 split, 60% uh, Bitcoins, 40% uh, dollars, uh, mm -hmm. and it converts them instantly so that uh, you don't have to, you can minimize your exposure to the market. Okay, it can, it, that's is that's an option. Is that an option? That's an option. Yeah, you set it whatever you want. Oh, uh, so you if you want to be all of it, none of it. Okay, so if you're a merchant and you want the you don't want to take any currency risk of the value going up or down, or well, there's only a risk if it goes down. But um, then you can say convert it to dollars immediately, and there's no risk at all. That's correct. Yeah. And then I can have so I can have a, I can accept Bitcoin through this but I get paid in dollars. I can set the prices in, bit, in dollars and, yeah. and I, I still receive Bitcoin and I, I mean, I still collect Bitcoin, you collect Bitcoin, whatever, on my behalf and then I get paid in dollars. That's correct. So yeah. it can be priced in dollars and I get dollars and it's the same as any other. Except yeah, and we will actually ACH the funds directly into your account. Uh, so it, okay. I think that's something unique. I haven't seen mm -hmm. that anywhere else in the Bitcoin economy. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly quicker to get your money out. Okay, that's cool. And we can trust ACH, I mean you can trust ACH as long as you're doing the sending. It's when you're yes. receiving on ACH, you don't want to get trapped by that. We've that's talked right. about that a lot recently. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, all right, so that's my balance. So, okay, now let's say, how do I, oh, there it is, look, I just hovered and found funds withdraw, because I want my five bit cents. Oh wait, now, do you do an exchange too? Like if I want that converted into dollars? There's a, a convert tab there you can uh, do that with. Oh, con oh, right there. Wow, I like that it's so easy. I can even find it when I'm not even, don't know what I'm doing. Convert Bitcoin to dollars, how much would you like to convert? No way, so how does that work? If I put in that I want to convert these, this five bit cents, it's gonna, is it gonna operate as an exchange? It's not operating as an exchange. It's not finding uh, you know, a third party mm -hmm. who, who's trying to meet this price for you. Mm -hmm. What we do is we monitor uh, multiple exchanges all the time to mm -hmm. try to find the best rate for you, the mm -hmm. best rate for your customers. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you convert them, uh, we will enter an order. We will essentially buy them from you at that rate and enter an order on whatever exchange has the best rate so that we can actually... Uh, you know, get them out ourselves, and in the okay. end, so basically, send them back to you. Ba so you are actually doing the, ex the conversion for me, and then you're just covering yourself by doing a matching conversion on on the exchanges. Okay. And is there correct, yeah. is there a way that you monetize that? Um, you charge a percentage over, or how does that work? Uh, depending on the type of account you have, uh, there's a, a small fee for conversion. Uh, which you know ranges anywhere from half a percent to two percent. Okay. Uh, which is actually the only the only fee so far in BT Cinch. Uh, you can, as a store, use the service end to end free if you just forward your bitcoins on somewhere else. And for exchanging, did you um, automate that at all? Um, how does that work, or do you have to do everything manually? Because I can imagine no, that is all automated. Uh, Sweet. We built a trade bot that handles this, uh, actually talks to multiple exchanges uh, and just finds the best price. Okay, so now I have a zero dollar balance and I'm gonna try and withdraw five cents as an ACH and see what it says. Withdraw via dollar, oh, oh Dwella, 
Voila. You gotta okay. you gotta convert it first. You can't withdraw dollars if you don't have any. Yeah, I, I figured, but oh, minimum withdrawal for this method is fifty dollars. Yeah, I wondered when how long when it was gonna tell me that I didn't have any. So all right, so um, my funds is my balance. So because I have Bitcoin, I can withdraw Bitcoin. Uh, but right. if I want to withdraw it, then oh, funding options. When someone sends a Bitcoin to me. What percent would you like to convert immediately into dollars? Oh, wow, that's what you're talking about. So I can, I can when somebody sends me any bitcoins, it'll convert 100% of the bitcoins. Oh, oh, that is oh true. 100% into dollars, or leave 100% in bitcoins, or any percentage there, 90, 10, 80, 20, and so on, so on, so on. Hmm. Yeah. I wonder why you would want to do that. Wouldn't you want all or nothing? I guess. Uh -huh. Hey, how about yourself? Do you keep everything in Bitcoin or do you keep everything in uh, dollars? As I said, we do 60-40. Uh, you know, we need to get some uh, of the revenue back in dollars so that we can cover our costs, mm -hmm. uh, inventory, so on. Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty bullish on Bitcoin myself and I'd like mm -hmm. to uh, oh. keep my money in Bitcoins when I can. That explains it. Well, that answered my question because, so yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. If I'm uh, Mezzy Grill and I was doing this or online ordering, for example, or any anybody, uh, any business, and I need a certain percentage, I, I know I'm going to need 40% or 60% in dollars to cover my costs and my cash flow situation. I can convert 40% into dollars immediately and leave 60% into Bitcoin that you know, I can cash later. And, and I can convert it any time I want just by going into funds convert. Right. Well, you didn't tell me this was so cool, Ira. So no, if I, I, I mean, you didn't tell me this at all. So if I want to convert, I'm going to convert my half of a Bitcoin, or well, actually it's a five bit cents into dollars. I'm going to hit submit. Uh, it wants my pin number. What is it again? One, uh, one two, three, four, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, it's been processed. It should show up in your account within days. Oh, no, no, seconds. <laughs> so $12.70 per Bitcoin approximately is what I got. And so if I go to funds, it says within seconds. So let's see. Wait, how do I? Oh, I have to go to the dashboard, I guess, to see my balance. Is that what I do? Okay. Go to dashboard and then scroll down and converted. It says converted half a bit. So it says convert. Oh, the balance is all the way at the bottom. So now, oh, now I have 64 cents. Now, right. um, is the only way to cash that out is through ACH, or did you have anything else planned out for that? Uh, we can mail you a check. Uh, we have uh, with uh, Dwala withdrawals as well, uh, but ACH is, you know, the, the premier, it's, as far as I know, unique and certainly the fastest way to get your money out. Absolutely. Yeah, so I can I, see I'm, I'm on the withdraw screen if you go to, the, well, actually you don't have it, I guess, but it, <laughs> they can see, I go to the withdraw funds and there's, well, I can withdraw Bitcoin, obviously. I can withdraw US dollars as either check, ACH, or Dwala. So if I say ACH, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to let me withdraw 65 cents via ACH, will it? No, 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 no it said $50 minimum, right? Okay. Do you charge anything for ACH? No, we don't charge anything for any of these uh, services. We charge Dwala's fee uh, just to cover our cost of the Dwala transaction. Mm -hmm. uh, but aside from third-party fees, the only fee associated with BT Cinch is the conversion fee. And I want to say that the, I think you said it was 1290 or something like that that you got a conversion yeah. rate. Yeah. The basic account obviously has the, the lowest conversion rate. Uh, so, you know, the business r rates and uh, premium business rates are higher. They get a better rate. Oh, the yeah. businesses always get a better deal. But then not, that's not always true. When it comes to things like that, yes, because of volume. But when it comes to buying things, it seems like businesses always get charged the most, too, on a lot of ca cases. Okay, so now I see I'm, I'm, I'm exploring. I'm playing around here, and under funds, there's a send funds button. And yeah. the, I can send bitcoins, so I can put in an email address and a number of bitcoins and a message. That's cool. There have been services that do this before, which is so nice because it's so easy. Oh, and that's actually, actually, that's what we did, isn't it? Because you sent me a link and I clicked on it, I created an account and I put it in my account automatically. That's cool. All right, now. That's exactly what I did. Okay, so what happens if I send this to an email address that's like a faulty email address or somebody who just ignores that and, and deletes the message? What happens to the uh, bitcoins? They will 
the transaction will be recovered, if not claimed, within a month. Uh, and we're working on the ability to cancel it yourself, uh, you know, if you know you sent it to the wrong email address or something. Mm hmm Okay. So I'm going to send Ed a, th a million bitcoins. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> okay. And, um, oh, it wants my PIN number again. What is it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, everything should require a PIN number. Insufficient funds. Everything I do says insufficient funds. Okay, <laughs> but that's cool. Now, can I send dollars to or only bitcoins? Uh, right now, we don't allow that. All the infrastructure is in place. Uh, one of the reasons why we're still beta testing, uh, aside from the fact that this is obviously very sensitive, uh, you know, we're dealing with financial data here. Uh, potentially, we're dealing with companies' revenue streams. Right. But I need to talk to a lawyer about sending dollars like this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When you actually withdraw, let's say you converted some of your money you want to withdraw, do you have any limits imposed to how much you can withdraw at once? Uh, right now, we've got a $1,000 a day limit. Uh, mm. But based on what I've been told recently uh, by uh, my lawyer on this subject, that is not probably not necessary and we'll hopefully be lifting it soon. Yeah, especially if you're just dealing with Bitcoin because, well, if you're dealing with merchants that are selling things in dollars, then there's no limit as long as they're, you know, it's all, as long as know your customer going into their bank account and all that. But, um, yeah. send, and Bitcoin, sending Bitcoin transactions, Bitcoin to Bitcoin, that's not even money legally. It's just virtual no, goods no or commodities. No limits on that. No limit there. It's just, that's why I asked about sending funds if you mm -hmm. send dollars. But on the other hand, obviously, needless to say, if I have dollars in my account, I can convert them to Bitcoins with that one button, send them via email with the other button, then somebody can receive it, and now they have Bitcoins into their account, and then they can convert it into dollars and ACH it right back into their account. And is, now, is there any fee for sending that way? Nope. As there are no fees anywhere except conversion. So it's kind of like Dwala, except there's no fee at all. Yep. <laughs> and, and basically, you can send dollars, but you just have to convert them into Bitcoins first. And that's, uh, you're not sending dollars. You're converting them into Bitcoins. Mm -hmm. And then you're sending that's Bitcoins. So obviously, Bitcoins are always superior. We knew that. So <laughs> this is the Bitcoin show. All right, so now I go to funds transactions. Oh, there it is. And there's a ledger of, of everything that I've done, sends and conversions. How many people did you say are using this already? Uh, right now, it's, it's primarily, we've been testing a lot of the tools that, you know, for instance, you know, making sure that we get the right uh, rates set all the time, uh, making sure that all the transactions are processing correctly. It's been processing uh, all of the back ends for BitMunchies for about six weeks. Mm. Uh, and I've uh, invited basically a few people that, you know, I've sent refunds in this manner. I've, you know, sent some money to you, sent some money to uh, other business partners of mine. Uh, just to try it out, and there's just a, a little less than 100 people using it right now. Okay, I love the interface. It's so, so easy. It's very really, well, really well out. laid out. We designed it that way so that it can be used from a mobile phone. Mm -hmm. So to, to give you uh, an example of how this might be used in the real world, uh, merchant accounts get uh, a QR code mm -hmm. that they can print out that goes directly to their payment page. Okay. So they could, for instance, print this out, uh, tape it onto their counter, <coughs> uh, and then a customer walks in with you know, their smartphone, mm -hmm. takes a picture of it, they're automatically sent to the uh, payment gateway, and all they do is enter their PIN and the amount, clears mm -hmm. instantly, mm -hmm. and uh, they get their coffee or whatever it is. So I don't have a merchant account, I just have a basic account. You've got a basic account, that's okay, right. Okay, so I don't get that. I was going to say, how can I, uh, I guess I would have to... Now, like if I wanted to, can I upgrade this account or I have to get a new account as a merchant? How does that work? Uh, right now, we're not accepting new merchant accounts. What? Uh, as, as, we're, well, we're still testing all this. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know, it, it seems like uh, a lot of Bitcoin businesses, uh, particularly services, are, are rushing to the market. Yeah. Uh, there's a, a sense of urgency, it seems. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, we certainly want to first to market as well, but 
as an engineer and a business owner, I'm particularly dealing with financial transactions, as I said, mm -hmm. I want to be sure that everything is stable and you know, that I'm delivering the, the best products before releasing it to the public. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've got about two weeks left uh, in the, the current testing phase. Okay. Uh, if all continues to go well, as it has so far, uh, we'll open it up to select public enrollment for uh, basic accounts, like you see here, mm -hmm. and uh, um, a couple brick-and-mortar stores uh, and online stores have already asked to be testers for the merchant accounts. I want to be a tester. Can I be a tester? You can be a tester, Bruce. Okay. How many... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so, how many... Um, did you just answer this? How many uh, are you going to allow to do the beta testing? Uh, you know, we haven't set a set number. Mm -hmm. I, I was targeting, uh, you know, three or four brick and mortar businesses around Denver who I've already talked to about this and they're on board. Um, okay. As for online merchants, you know, we'll see how much interest there is. This is really slick. I, um, I'm just so anxious to see the business accounts dashboard to see how I, is there a widget, like an HTML widget that, that I'm given? Or how does that work? How do I integrate it into my site as a business? Uh, well, one of the things that we are uh, finalizing right now is a Zencart and OS Commerce plugin mm. that will plug in directly to uh, BT Cinch, mm -hmm. just like you can find, you know, a, a PayPal plugin for Zencart. Uh, right. We're building one to uh, not only allow people with uh, existing uh, e-commerce Zencart sites. To, to use BT Cinch, but also as an example for other sites that would like to integrate. Mm -hmm. And is it only for OS Commerce, or did you have Zencar? I heard in there? Um, did you have multiple planned out? Uh, we're currently only building OS Commerce and, and Zencart plugins, uh, but if those go well, uh, then we'll build probably a OpenCart uh, plugin next and see where we go from there. Cool. So I'm on. Beat, I'm back to Bitmunchies. I'm hungry. No, I went over to Bitmunchies to uh, to look at the shopping cart. And so what I'm looking at then is um, my account information when I go to check out. And I, if I enter my account information, is this actually part of BT Cinch or not yet? So what you'll see there, uh, the uh, Bitcoin addresses that you get, the exchange rates. Uh, you know, all those are being fed from BT Cinch. So Bitmunchies is, is really just a, a shell. All the transactions, uh, you know, all of the, the Bitcoin backend is being handled by BT Cinch. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the pa okay, it's asking me for a password. I guess that's a, that's, this is a password for Bitmunchies now, right? Bitmunchies, yeah. Okay. And I'll use the same password, Bruce Wagner, for everything. So... All right, my account has been created. Okay, so it, congratulations, the account has been created. Continue. So now I have an, a, uh, an account on Bitmunchies. Now it's got my shipping address already. And, um, oh, shipping method. I want my Nutella parcel post. I can add comments, like hurry, I'm hungry, and then hit continue. And delivery address, shipping method. And so that, okay, so that's what you're saying, that the 0 0.298 or 289, that is Bitcoin, is, is up to the minute, and that's coming from BT Cinch. Yep. What, so which came first, BT Cinch or Bitmunchies? Bitmunchies came first, uh, and I realized that there was, there was a lot of trouble uh, for a Bitcoin business to actually, you know, end to end get their revenue back, uh, particularly mm -hmm. if you need some of it back in dollars, which most businesses will uh, mm -hmm. at one point or another. Uh, and you know, the, when I started it, I had to learn about Tuala, learn you know, about Mt. Gox, make an account, uh, and all these different things. Yeah. And w just week over week, it took hours and hours just managing you yeah. know, all these transactions and, and trying to get my money out. So BT Cinch uh, basically grew out of an, your own need for a, for a, a checkout, a, a Bitcoin checkout which I think That's obviously correct. a lot of people are in the same boat. All That's right, what's now. Uh, great about Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. There's a need, you know, the market will fill it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. See my screen now, it says my order. All I did was uh, tell it what I wanted. It says my order's been processed. Now it says your address for this order is, 
Uh, please notify me about updates to Nutella. You can view your order history on the My Accounts page. Okay. You might want to change that to say your Bitcoin address and like send bit. Because what I got to do is I got to copy that address, right? And I have to remember, oh wait, I've sent that many Bitcoins to the address. Wait, you have to, yeah. As soon as, four confirmations. Oh, oh, okay. So I have to send that many Bitcoins. Now what happens if I send the wrong number? Like let's say I'm dyslexic or something and I, I do 1.090 or something like that. Too many or not enough Bitcoins. Then what happens? Well, that's how the emailing Bitcoins functionality of BT Cinch came around. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if someone sends just a little too much or, you know, uh, you have to you know, issue a partial refund or something of that nature, we used to have to email the user, try to get them to send us a new address mm -hmm. uh, so that we could send them a refund. And that's just a, a lot of hassle. Okay. Uh, but this way, we send it to the email address and they just claim it. Mm -hmm. All right. So if I... Let's see, if I check my email, is, is there going to be a message telling me that I didn't send it? Or does it notify me by email that, uh, that, uh, I, I, that this is due? Uh, it should, yeah. Okay, all right. Let me check my email. Check that out. <laughs> they don't need to see all my email. All right, so let's see. Welcome to BitMunchies. Here we go. Uh, order process. All right, so the first email I got was... Uh, my actual order and then uh, it's just a confirmation of my whole order all right let me see what the second one is welcome to bitmunchies that was when I created my account okay and then am I gonna get another email address I mean another email that tells me that I need to wait the, the Bitcoin address and the amount to send it to again in case I forgot uh, is that not in the it should be in the uh, order processing email Oh, order process. Let me look again. It says, okay, well, there's a link to the detailed invoice. Uh, it says the number of Bitcoin. I don't, it does, it's not saying the, the Bitcoin address to send it to. Maybe if I well, click. You can log in and uh, look at the order in your history. It'll tell you there. Oh, there it is. Yeah, if I click the link. If I click the link, see that, show that. Uh, the uh, order information, order number. Pending. Yeah, if I just click the link, it shows me the whole thing, including the Bitcoin address, in case I uh, lost it off my clipboard. All right, cool. And then once I send Bitcoin to that address, will I get another email confirming that it's been received? And I, Usually, the next email you get will say it's shipped. Shipped. Wow. Is it true? Has it really been shipped true. like that fast? Like, as soon as I send you Bitcoins, it's been shipped. You, like, <laughs> run down to the basement and grab it? <laughs> no, I... Usually, the, the next email after you send it will be a confirmation. Oh, the next uh, one after. What BitMunchies does is it, it checks at 9 a.m. every day, mm -hmm. and any order that has been uh, confirmed, the, mm -hmm. the payment that is, mm -hmm. we process it and ship it. Okay. This is really cool. So I can buy uh, munchies and things that give you the munchies and uh, clothing and beverages and absolutely everything on bitmunchies.com. Uh, but yeah. then we've got BT Cinch, which is in beta right now but what's right. it, it's really really cool and it's basically like a bitcoin us dollar dwala almost it's like a dwala it's like a paypal it's like a merchant processing uh yeah. web-based merchant processing solution for all these things as a back end and the merchant doesn't pay any fees it's just the exchange rate that's different is that it uh that's correct the, there are uh premium fees which you can pay to get, you know, a significantly better exchange rate mm -hmm. uh, and also extra tools. Mm -hmm. But for a store to accept bitcoins, uh, you know, through the same way that Bitmunchies does, mm -hmm. it's free. Cool, cool, cool. And uh, what do you guys have in place as far as security goes? Because I'm sure that's, you know, going to be a concern for anybody that's using the service. Has there been anything that you've done in that respect? Uh, we've done quite a bit in that respect. Uh, you know, in addition to encrypting all the passwords uh, in, you know, multiple salted SHA five twelve, uh, <laughs> that sort of thing. We uh, learned. You can see almost the entire site of BT Cinch is uh, SSL. Is what? So almost oh SSL so security SSL. encrypted. Yeah. I noticed that the so site is. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. 
I noticed that it's based on WordPress at the bottom, powered by WordPress. That's really impressive. I, it's amazing, WordPress being the free open source uh, web-based software uh, for, uh, famous for bloggers and blogging. We use it too on onlyonetv.com. Ours is based on WordPress as well. But it's just amazing that you can actually build this whole framework on WordPress. Like what is it, uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe this is too proprietary, but what is it coded in? Uh, it's mostly PHP. PHP. Uh, you know, Amazing. certain backend pieces are, are Python. Uh, there's some Ajax in there. Mm -hmm. Did you we do it yourself? Uh, pardon me? Did you code it yourself? I did most of it myself, yeah. Wow. Wow. Oh my, you, you do. You asked about security. Uh, we actually stripped down about half of the, the actual code from WordPress and, and built it, re rebuilt certain areas to be far more secure. Wow, that's wow. amazing. So you, you must have gotten the munchies during that process, <laughs> like eating yeah. away your profits. <laughs> well, I want to take a break really quick before we get into the next uh, more, more, more. There's so much to talk about with this. Um, but we, we are going to thank our sponsors because we really appreciate them. And um, the, the first one is actually bit-pay.com, which is kind of like a competitor. I mean, you know, it's all about healthy competition. That's what, uh, it's kind of like the open source world. The Bitcoin network, the Bitcoin community is uh, all about uh, community. And so it's all healthy competition. It's all good. And uh, we learn from each other, obviously. So bit-pay.com just launched and has become a, a, our newest sponsor. And they offer a, an online widget and optional shopping cart that you can plug into any website and instantly accept Bitcoin or dollars and be paid in Bitcoin or dollars. So um, it, we're really excited about that. We just, we just announced that on, on yesterday's show. And um, they're going to be coming and attending the uh, Bitcoin Conference and World Expo here in New York, August 19th through 21st. And they'll have a lot of things to display about how they're using that as a point of sale system, as well as web-based uh, Bitcoin, so that anybody can plug it into their site. Um, so we, uh, again, contact bit-pay.com and thank them for sponsoring the Bitcoin show and only one TV. And... Mt. Gox, of course, MTGOX. Everybody knows MtGox.com because they have the massive uh, uh, market share in online Bitcoin exchanges. So um, when you want to know the price of a Bitcoin, you know, people pretty much say Mt. Gox. Um, they have um, had their challenges with security, as so have the biggest banks in the world. But they're resilient. They're back. They're not hiding or running away. They're uh, fixing things and coming back uh, newer, stronger better than ever. And people seem to have really not lost their confidence and their faith in Mt. Gox because you know, they really haven't lost much market share. They're, um, they're still there. The volume is still there. And people are still using it. And um, we appreciate Mark and the, the gang at Mt. Gox supporting the Bitcoin show and bringing us to you. And Trade Hill, the other guys, <laughs> the, uh, probably the second largest exchange. But um, they're newer. And they've got lots of new and innovative features and new ways to get money in and out quickly, um, affordably, and as painless as possible. Again, we thank TradeHill.com. If you refer people to TradeHill, you get uh, you get a commission earned on all of their trades, and they get a discount. Uh, obviously, if you use our referral code, you see on the bottom of the screen there, TH-R141, you'll be supporting the Bitcoin show and getting 10% off of your fees for life. So they have this uh, referral system, which is innovative. And we have usgoldcoins.com. usgoldcoins.com, if you're in the USA, you can reach them at 1-800-HOT-COIN. That's Andy Gauss, and uh, I stand behind him. He is my guru when it comes to all things money, not just Bitcoin, but all types of money and monetary systems. He is the guy. He knows it all, in my opinion. He's my guru. And he hosts a show called Real World of Money, which is a massively popular national radio show and twice a week that's moving um, to only one TV on Wednesday mornings, 10 a.m. Eastern, real soon now, as we say, RSN. And uh, we're really, really excited about that. Uh, but he is the, in my opinion, like I say, the world-renowned expert in money and all things monetary. And he's totally accessible. Just call 1-800-HOT-COIN and ask for Andy. And he, you, you'll likely get him on the phone. But it's usgoldcoins.com. What do they do? They sell rare U.S. gold and silver coins as investments. Numismatic coins, it's called. So diversify your investments. And, and if you're going to do that, 
there's no better people to talk to than uh, usgoldcoins.com. And Mezzi Grill, oh my gosh, we never have enough to say about Mezzi Grill, right? Um, not only are they the world's first restaurant, brick and mortar restaurant that actually accepts Bitcoin, and they've got tons and tons of media and press about that, as you all know. Um, but now this week they announced that they are not only a restaurant that accepts Bitcoins, but they are a Bitcoin exchanger. They're the, apparently the world's first or one of the world's first brick and mortar retail stores that actually has hours seven days a week. Um, you know what their hours are. Just go to mezegrill.com. And if you're in New York or passing through New York, you just know where to go. It's like an ATM. It's not 24 hours, but, you know, it's open. They're open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So they're open. I don't know what time they open, but check their hours online. 7, 7 a.m.? They're open 7 a.m. until something late, like 10? 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. most days. But check their hours online. It's different on the weekends. But basically, they're there seven days a week during normal waking hours. You can buy and sell Bitcoin for cash, a $500 per day per person limit. And they're charging 6% um, in both directions. And it's based on the Mt. Gox last price. No, none of those things are negotiable. So don't bother them with emails and try and talk them down. No. If you, want, if you want a better rate, then open your own retail store in Manhattan and that sells and buys Bitcoins. They're doing a great service to the community, uh, for the community's benefit, just to know that, you know, that they're there. And uh, whenever you're in New York City, you know you can go there and buy Bitcoin, even if you don't know anybody here. You can buy Bitcoin and sell Bitcoin and, and spend it there, too. So uh, thank Marwan at mezzygrill.com. Thanks to all these people for sponsoring our show. Only One TV, we're doing great things. Um, obviously, we're trying to, to bring you the, uh, our mission statement, as you know, on Only One TV, is to help as many people as possible on the planet Earth in the most profound ways possible. So, uh, we're back. <laughs> Thanks for that, your patience there, Ira. So, <clears throat> What else? Now, how, okay, speaking of bit-pay.com and these other startups, I mean, I'm, I'm encountering all kinds of things every day that are basically there's lots and lots of new startups that are all trying to solve the same problems. Everybody has a unique creative mind, so they're, they're solving them, and they're all different, slightly different uh, approaches. So how does um, BT Cinch compare or, um, and contrast to services like bit-pay.com and uh, we're, uh, some new ones that I'm hearing about that we're probably going to be having on the show pretty soon too. But how does it, what makes it really unique? Uh, well, I'd, I'd like to start out by saying I've never used bit-pay.com. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday was the first time I heard of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I can't speak to what functionality they have. Mm -hmm. uh, but what I tried to do with BT Cinch is end-to-end. -end. So everything you need to not only accept bitcoins as payment, but to get them out, you know, to to uh, convert them in uh, hopefully as short a time as possible, minimize your exposure, uh, you know, uh, get them into your bank account mm -hmm. directly. But you know, no third parties, uh, you know, no installation of software. You don't have to create accounts with exchanges and Walla and everything else. Right, but you're. I see that you're also. Not just for merchant processing, like one of the differences I noticed, and I mean, I haven't, haven't, I'm just looking at this for the first time and I, and I haven't spent much time on bit-pay.com either, really. Um, I'm just like, I learned about it on the actual show. But I see a difference right now is that I can deposit funds. You're not just for merchant processing. It's almost acting like a PayPal. Um, so a PayPal replacement. So I can actually deposit funds. How much would you like to deposit? Oh, okay. So I can only deposit in Bitcoin. Is that right? Right now, yes. Okay. Uh, for well-documented reasons. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if I, de yeah, that makes a lot of sense actually that you would want to deposit only in Bitcoin because, be you know, I was having this conversation about all the Dwala problems and so forth, and basically, I can't remember who I was talking to. It's a, uh, a journalist on the the ride to work this morning, and I w they were, I was saying that really. Um, the problem is old economy meets new economy, mm -hmm. and old economy is a, uh, what do you call it, it is a pull transaction. 
where basically I have a number, I have a secret number, and I can pull money out of your account. And that's a pull transaction. The new economy, Bitcoin, is, is a cash-like economy where it's a push transaction. And the problem is when a pull-type transaction meets a push-type transaction, you got fraud. They're just always, always, always going to be scamming. So when they're pulling money out of an account, it, can, it will always be reversible somehow. And pushing yeah. is the opposite. That's what Bitcoin is. So... It makes a lot of sense that if I'm depositing money, it's, it's just only accept Bitcoin. You know, there's no problem with MasterCard, Visa, or PayPal when you're sending money. No problem, because you're the one sending it. It's receiving it when you're going to get burned. So as long as you only accept deposits by Bitcoin, you're safe. And then withdrawals, um, it doesn't matter. You can send it any way you want, because you're not going to get burned. And, um, you know, you're the trusted entity there. Are you going to deal with euros at all? Uh, you know, it, it's on the horizon. It's just a, a legal hassle that I'm not ready for yet. Yeah, interesting. Well, I mean, yeah, the world, obviously, Euro's huge, but um, the world's pretty familiar with U.S. dollar values anyway. And you're in beta, so, like, okay, yeah, absolutely. give you a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You've done a lot. Uh, it's just amazing. How are you going to secure these? Like, do you have... Uh, a lot of experience yourself or do you have a team of people or how does that work when it comes to securing the actual Bitcoin funds? Are they stored offline elsewhere? Uh, we've got a, a pretty comprehensive system in the works. Uh, this is another reason why we're really taking our time releasing this. We mm -hmm. want to put all this infrastructure in place. Mm -hmm. uh, we're intending to store a solid percentage of the funds uh, as yet undetermined percentage in an offline wallet. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I say offline, has never been online. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, generated once on a secure computer. Right. Uh, another portion will be stored in a temporarily offline server, uh, that which will only be brought online to refresh the working fund server. Mm -hmm. uh, and that that server is you know as secure as uh, encryption and uh, secrecy can make it. So, um, are you expecting, I mean, for normal transaction processing for a, a commerce, you know, you would receive, a merchant would uh, receive sales or whatever, and payments would just be come in and process, so they'd come in and go right back out again. But are you expecting, with BT Cinch, that people, if they're using it as a Dwala or PayPal replacement, that's kind of Bitcoin-centric, by the way, what, that's cool right there, that, that it's, a, it's a PayPal, Dwala, mm -hmm. but it's, it's from the Bitcoin world. So it's, it's mm -hmm. our, it's, you know, the Bitcoin is the people's money and BT Cinch is our PayPal. <laughs> it's our Dwala. <laughs> so, okay, but anyway, sorry for that sidebar. But uh, back to this. If, are, you, are you anticipating that users are going to keep a balance in here to do shopping? And, are, and also, along with that, are you anticipating that, uh, use, that this... Like BT Singe could actually be accepted. You know how Dwala works, where like a merchant can accept Dwala, like with an, mm -hmm. a smartphone app and things like that. Could there be a BT Singe smartphone app that? Um, Absolutely, uh, we are already putting the infrastructure in place for that. But then, is it really necessary? Because if, if you can send money with an email, what do you, what do you even need an app for? All you need is a browser and an email. We already have those apps, right? You know, if you got a smartphone, it works perfectly well right now. So uh, an app would only make it prettier and more, I guess, easier to use, I suppose. And uh, I guess you'd be able to use it, like, mobily. Yeah. You know, well, you like can, I mean, uh, smartphones, you can use a browser and email oh, mobily last time I checked. That is true. <laughs> That's how I did it the other day. Exactly. So it <laughs> works. I, I imagine this would make it simpler. Simpler, easier, just fast, whatever, prettier, pretty much. Mm -hmm. That's like, okay, so back to the first, so are you anticipating then that individuals or, or merchants even would k carry a balance and keep their funds in there? Uh, we anticipate it being used as a daily wallet, if you will. You know, you mm -hmm. deposit one or two bitcoins in the morning as you go about your day, you get coffee, you go to lunch, maybe at Mez Grill or, or wherever, mm -hmm. uh, and you gradually use, you know, uh, a bitcoin or two. Uh, and because you deposit it in the morning, as you, you know, go to these stores and enter these transactions through your smartphone, they clear instantly. Mm -hmm. So, so if I, it, there's no waiting. 
Right, there's no way. So, okay, if I'm going to go to a merchant that accepts Bitcoin, like if I go to Mezzi Grill today for dinner, I, um, I would have to do send funds, but uh, let's see, wait, I do send funds? And is, do they have to have an account? Oh, I can, uh, I get, oh, or Bitcoin address. So I could just paste their Bitcoin address right into this thing. This is basically acting as a mybitcoin.com, as a, as a wallet, as a web-based wallet as well, right? It, it is, yes. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that changes everything too. So you can actually keep your funds in here and mm -hmm. I can just paste in, bit, uh, well, I could, even, I could even, if I put in the email address though, then it's gonna ask Mezzy Grill to create their own BT Cinch account, no? And it'll go into if they their... don't have one already. If they do, it mm -hmm. simply shows up. It just shows up. And they'll get a notification by email that they receive money. Yep. And you said that's going to be done instant? Like there's going to be no delay um, from BT Cinch user to BT Cinch user? There's no delay. No delay. So if I, okay, if I do an email, then it's going to ask them to create an account if they don't already have one. And if I... And if they don't have one, let's say, let's say Marwan doesn't have, probably doesn't have one right now. So if I send him this and it, I send it to his email address, then he's going to get an email. He has to touch the link. And just like me, he cre and then he creates an account. But once he creates an account, uh, it shows up in there. Can he, instantly, he can instantly then withdraw the Bitcoins into his own Bitcoin. All right. So, but once he has an account, he can just leave it in there. If he, but if he doesn't want to have an account, then it doesn't matter. I can just paste their Bitcoin address in and put in the Bitcoin amount and a message that's optional and it's going to send a bitcoin or whatever number of bitcoins out through the normal bitcoin uh network and that that's happens correct. immediately and message oh i get it it says message email only of course so if i'm sending it to a obviously to a bitcoin address uh, you're not going to send an email no okay it's just a normal bitcoin transaction just a normal and, and that happens instantly an hour or so to clear no message yeah. Whatever. Well, it's a it's a normal Bitcoin transaction that happens instantly, and it'll go out as unverified immediately, and then it'll end up with verifications, just like a normal. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So they should still get you know notification of it right right away. All right. Let me see. Let me think. Let me think. So if do I get as a merchant, I do I get a Bitcoin address that like could I have one standard Bitcoin address or would it? How does that work? Well, I. You know, that's one of the issues with accepting Bitcoin as a merchant. You know, if you put one address out, that not only leaves you uh, slightly vulnerable to being tracked, but every customer that sends something to that address can mm -hmm. then be tracked more easily. Uh, so we create a unique address for every transaction. Mm -hmm. So if I'm a restaurant, let's say I'm a brick and mortar restaurant, then do, I, do, do they have to have a kiosk or something for... Um, how would I order at Mezzi Grill and get a unique address every time? Uh, presumably, Mezzi Grill would print out a QR code to their payment gateway. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, presumably, mm -hmm. that is that they have an account with us. Uh -huh. uh, they would print out a QR code to their payment gateway. Uh, mm -hmm. Your phone will decode that. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, assuming you have you know, the internet uh, mm -hmm. on your smartphone, mm -hmm. you are at the payment gateway. You just enter the amount and your PIN and mm -hmm. confirm it. It is instantly in Mezzagrill's account, and all they have to do is check their balance. Okay, but both parties have to have a BT Cinch account. That's correct, yeah. Okay. Uh, you could send it to you know, just a Bitcoin address, but again, it, it won't clear instantly then. Oh, I got you. Uh, but gotcha. that's gotcha. actually gotcha. pretty cool because mm -hmm. you just use the QR code, and then it's going to automatically take you there, and mm -hmm. then, uh, you know, it, there's going to be no delays. Um, is there anything else you have in the pipeline that's going to assist, you know, merchants like uh, you're doing now? Uh, there are a lot of things in the pipeline to, to assist merchants, um, but nothing I'm prepared to talk about at the moment. Oh, what I mean? Okay, well, <laughs> you talk to me offline later because I people tell me everything. There are no. Well, you're going to be one of our testers after all. Yeah, yeah, I'm one of your testers, so you're of course I'm going to know it all. But I won't tell, not, not until you tell me to. So, um, all right. Well, I think we're going for, we're out of time. It's, it's like time just goes, it's like 60 minutes feels like five minutes. But um, we're just getting started. But I'm anxious to see this in action. I'm really anxious to see this in action at Mezzi Grill. I think we're going from uh, Bitcoin in six months time is going from a situation of having no point of sale situation solutions at mm -hmm. all 
to having like a hundred of them to choose from. It's going to be so interesting. Mezzi Grill will probably be prototyping like 12 different point of sale systems <laughs> and they only have two crash cash registers. So it's going to be very interesting, but um, it's, it's going to hash out really well. And uh, it's going to be a really, really cool day for Bitcoin. So we've got seconds left. I just want to say thank you, Ira. And, um, also, you know what else is going to be a cool day? The Bitcoin conference. Yes, be exactly. A cool few days. Exactly. Don't forget the Bitcoin conference and World Expo, August 19, 20, and 21 coming up. Go to bitcoinconference.com. So we're out of time. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Ira. Thanks, for, Thanks for having me. All right. Take care, everybody. And see you tomorrow. <laughs>